Right guys, welcome back to yet another video. We're looking at number 35 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022. It's Keenan Allen, he's a wide receiver for the Chargers. And I'll tell you what, you know, the names that we're getting into now, it's it's superstar after superstar. You, you, you ain't going to make the top 35 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players in 2022 unless you're an absolute superstar. We had DeAndre Hopkins, we've had Lamar Jackson. In this video, we're looking at Keenan Allen. I mean, three names. A lot of people out there would probably put all, th all three players in their top 10 players in the entire league. Or maybe that's just me. Actually, would I? I'd probably put two of them in there. But I won't say which two. Because that would be unfair. Guys, I don't know what we're going to see here. We're going to see some absolute dynamite footwork. Keenan Allen, when I think of him, you know, he's, he's, he's going to be in my top 10 wide receivers. I'm not sure about top 5. And he's certainly not going to not going to be able to surpass, you know, your likes of Tyreek Hill or DK Metcalf, for me personally. But he's certainly up there. And with all that in mind, let's get into the video. Herbert to throw. And now middle of the end zone pop. Herbert to Keenan Allen. Well, that was a Herbert uh, highlight, no doubt. But uh, you've got to be in it to win it. And Keenan Allen was certainly in it. It being the end zone. And in a sea of red, there is a... Fuck, it is a sea of red. A beautiful <laughs> spot of powder blue. <laughs> I was going to say, there's absolutely no Chargers fans. But there was one, and he gets the ball. That's what you got to do. you got to go to the away games... Be the only supporter in the vicinity of the end zone, and you're going to get yourself a gift. And he's got himself a heck of a souvenir. <laughs> Who is that you got to buy? That's my brother and pops. Yeah. L.A. in the building. Let's go. Keenan Allen. Yes, sir. He's truly a great football player. Cheers, Joey. Just having consistently amazing years every single year. Fresh off a career-high 106 receptions, Keenan Allen makes his fifth straight appearance on the top 100. Being that it's the fifth year I've I've followed this series, um, you know, no no wonder he's 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 up there for me. He's a player that it's always there or thereabouts. It's a player that um, you know the name the name rang a bell in the first couple of years, but it's it's certainly imprinted in my mind now. And uh, yeah. Keen is different, man. He might not like look like the fastest, but uh, when he runs his routes, he's the quickest thing out there. For some reason, we don't talk about him year in and year out having the stickiest of the ickiest of the routes. You can't press him online. It's just bad business. His feet and his route running, there's really not much I have to say about him. Everybody already knows. He has that yeah. shake and he has that movement where he's just Ooh, such he can a, go out and catch it too. The fluid player. Talk about breaking ankles. There are bones left on football. Yeah, nah, for sure. He's fluid. He, he's fluid. He's, um, you don't know where he's going to go. And in fact, I might have made this call last year. Even he doesn't know where he's going. Can you imagine how hard that is for the defender? All feels everywhere that Keenan Allen has played on. Keenan Allen just knows how to get open against any coverage and any defense. Keenan Allen is someone else that I think, you know, release package-wise and his ability to do things. The best receivers play like a point guard in basketball. They change their tempos up. They don't play at full speed at all times. You keep a little gas in the... See that little dead leg, man. That little goosey. That little goose step. That little skip. Um, executed at the right time. Gets you the amount of space that you need the amount of space that he got in that exact play to score the touchdown. Is he going to score? The tank, going to be able to Not quite, but let's have a look at it again. His ability to do things. Your best. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a stop and go mixed with a goose step, mixed with a dead leg, mixed with a skip step, all in one, all fluid as fuck, and that's what you get. Receivers play so like a point guard in basketball. They change their tempos up. They don't play at full speed at all Laters. times. You keep a little gas in the tank. Great speed by the cornerback, not going to lie. Going to be able to create that burst, create the separation when you need it. The most beautiful things about playing receiver, I think Keenan Allen kind of embody that. Herbert, here comes the rush, throws toward the end zone, caught! Touchdown! Chargers! I suppose you wouldn't expect him to, to just turn and look for the ball. You'd expect him to at least step off the left or the right. But in that case, it's a sluggo seam. On third down, no surprise, they call number 13's number and it goes for six. He's big time in the clutch. 
third down, fourth down, you know, in the red zone, two-point conversions. I mean, you could probably bet... Hang on, are we going to see Hunter Renfro on this list? Because when we talk about third down, fourth down, clutch players, Hunter Renfro is up there. If Renfro's not on this list this year, that is a travesty. It's a bottom dollar that, you know, he's going to get the ball somehow, some way. Third down and two yards What have we got? Crossing, the crossing, Herbert there he is. Looking for it. Allen. We know he's one of the best third down receivers. I bet Keenan Allen is absolutely loving having a quarterback like Justin Herbert. I mean, teams know it. You know, we knew it one time. Third down, fourth quarter. You're just going to get the ball to Keenan Allen. Let him go up and shake his guy and throw it to him. There it is. Great call, Tony. That's the thing. That's the thing. He's going to shake his guy. He's going to get space. Throw it to him. That's the thing. He's he's got the release. He's got the release, exactly like Tyreek Hill. I'm not so sure about DK Metcalf. I mean, he's he's more long. But as far as these two guys, the release is incredible. It's elite, and you know, there's not much that a cornerback can do, uh, except for you know. And I'm going to say this is similar to like a goalkeeper in soccer, right? There's not much you can do except for guessing. You know whether he's going to go left or right because you don't know you don't know and the way that they set up their releases i mean nobody knows and that's why it's so so sick um yeah i'm going to say it's somewhat like a goalkeeper being a cornerback on a guy like keenan allen you just got to guess which way he's going to go you have to guess if you guess wrong well this is what happens they motion them into like the bunch and we actually had a double on them all right. But they converted, and they ended up winning that game. Oh! They in the clutch off the again. right. Washington game. We needed a big third down conversion <sighs> towards the end of the game, and we kind of put them in a bunch, running like an option route. Third and four. Herbert to pass. Middle of the field caught. Keenan Allen to the five-yard line, and that is going to ice it. I remember just being that play, like, on the sideline, and, okay, it's for the money, third down. Everybody knows who's getting the ball. You can't do nothing about it. Yeah, it seems you can't. It seems you can't. Because the thing is, if you do double-team a guy like that, well, someone's going to be open, right? Perfect job by Keenan Allen. I've got a lot. Well, that was a sick video. Very intri in 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 intricate. I'm not sure of the word. I'm trying to give somewhat of, you know, a, a decent sort of opinion. I know in, in previous videos, I know in previous uh, series of this... this uh, this top 100 list, I was making far more references to what I see as a rugby player, but I feel like I've got to the point where I, you know, I, I, I don't really feel like that anymore. I feel like I'm watching a game that I'm actually used to now, and so hopefully that comes across. You know, hopefully I don't piss anyone off. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm talking too much shit, and uh, hopefully at the end of the day you enjoy. So there you go, Keenan Allen. We, should we look at his stats? Oh, should we? You know what? Fuck it. No, we don't need to. We know what he's about. Best of luck for the upcoming season. And uh, with all that in mind, the next video is Kevin Beard. Safety of the Titans. Not a name we've seen before. I can say that much. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.